All right, thanks for tuning in and thanks for telling a friend. Welcome back to the show. Today we're going to talk about gear ratios in uh, Freightliner and Western Star trucks with the DD 13 or 15 uh, engine in it. Um, you know, this is something that can be very confusing if you haven't studied on it, studied on it a lot. Um, you can have direct drive transmission, you can have overdrive transmission, you can have tall tires, short tires. You need to think about startability, you need to think about am I going to ever be off road? Uh, what's the kind of what kind of weight are you going to haul? There's lots of things to consider whenever you're uh, specking your truck. And um, I was just watching this truck was about a gnat's eyelash from hitting another trailer. So sorry, I got distracted. But uh, I had a talk with a friend of mine. We used to drive together at the same trucking company and um, he was looking to buy a truck. He had stopped and looked at a Western Star with 308 gears. And the first thing I asked him was how fast are you gonna drive? And he said 65 plus, but that might not be the best gear for you. Um, there's a road speed calculator, just Google road speed calculator and you can put in your tire size, you can put in your RPM, your uh, gear ratio, if your transmission's in overdrive or direct drive, and it will show you the speed you'll be at at a certain RPM. And these, new, these newer engines that have the emission systems on them, they need to be ran at low RPM because the more heat, the more heat you keep in the uh, for a Freightliner to be the one box, the better it is. That's when you're running at high RPM, when I call high, high RPM now, it's probably 13, 1300 and above, it'll actually cool your emission system off too much and that's not good. That's when you start building up a lot of soot, things like that in it. So the main thing about these now is actually pulling them down and it won't hurt it at all. Like this one, when I'm running say 58 mile an hour i'm looking at my tachometer i'm like 1175 with this truck this is a 241 with a, a direct drive transmission that's what this truck's got and then my 14 my evolution was a 250 direct in my opinion now a lot of people are kind of arguing about this now i still think if you're driving slow like I do most of the time I still think direct drive is the most efficient you can be in if you're going to drive slow now if you need to be at high speeds yes probably an overdrive nowadays would be better you lose efficiency through overdrive but they say with these new modern transmissions it it's still you're you're better running at that low rpm than you are in in overdrive than you are at a little higher RPM in direct drive. So let me go through a few gear ratios here and I'll kind of tell you what the most common thing you're going to see in a Freightliner or a Western Star now is. One you'll see a lot now is a 285 rear end and that is going to be a overdrive. That's going to be a 0.78 overdrive. So I based all these at 65 miles an hour because I feel like it's a really common speed, especially for fleets. Um, so if you have a 285 rear end and you're, you have a uh, 0.78 overdrive transmission at 1250 RPM, that's what you're gonna be at 65. So not bad, that's pretty good, really. Another one you're gonna see a ton of them. Now, if you look at uh, uh, prime trucks, the old prime trucks that Pedigree is selling, all those tr all those prime trucks, unless it's the lightweight ones, the, the ones with the really small sleepers and everything, but the regular 126s like this one, every single one of those trucks is going to be a 216 rear end, and that's going to be a direct drive transmission. Um, so at 65 mile an hour with a 216 rear end with a direct drive transmission, you're at 1215, 1215 RPM. So another one you're gonna see a lot of in Freightliners are 228s. 228 is also, that's gonna be paired with a direct drive transmission. 
So at 65 with that one, you're going to be at 1275. The one I've got right here, this 241 direct, 1350 is what I am at 65. So see, that's you're starting. That's that's about the that's about the end of it, about as high as you want to go. But I only have I only drive that fast for small periods of time, just to if I'm running behind or there's a certain from certain place here and there I've got to run a little faster I do um, and then with a 247 a 247 is is what every single old Walmart truck is specced at so if you see it, if you're gonna buy a Walmart truck it is gonna this is the gear ratio it's gonna have 247 with direct drive you're gonna be at 1375 at 65 mile an hour um, I think you can special order this one. You're never going to see this in a truck that's for sale, though, on a lot. The 264 that's actually uh, .78 overdrive, with that one at 65 mile an hour, you'd be going 1150. That would be a great spec because then you would also, with that having that overdrive gear, you could uh, run it in direct drive. All and then the 308, the 308 we were talking about, a 308 would be a .78 overdrive also. And so a 0.78 overdrive with a 308 is exactly the same as a 2.41 like I've got that's direct drive. They're both going to be at 65 mile an hour. They're going to be 1350. Also, like I was talking about, if you're going to be running this, the, these figures also, I should say, they're all with uh, low pro 22s low pro 22 five tires if you've got tall 22s or low pro 24s or tall 24s uh, of course you're not going to need as much gear because basically that tire is like gear the bigger tire the bigger the tire you have the faster the truck's going to go so those are just some things to think about but definitely like i was saying if you're going to be going off road you probably don't want that 2.16 probably that uh that uh 2.47 like the Walmart trucks or 2.41 like I've got, startability is going to be a lot easier. I believe, don't swear, I wouldn't swear to this, but I think with the 2.16 you actually have a lower starting gear in that in that transmission, which is, you need that because when I talk about startability, anybody that's ever been on a 10-speed bike, um, you know, the the bigger you know how it's got a stack of gears and the when that chain goes up as it gets to the bigger gears you can go faster but it's a lot harder to pedal the same thing with the transmission it's when you have that taller when you have that taller rear gear you're going to be it's harder for the truck to start take off because it's like trying to take off in high gear on your 10 speed so that's what i say about startability so you know if you're up here in michigan and you've got trailer with all those axles under it and I don't know what they haul 120 130,000 pounds you know the 2.16 might not be the gear for you it might be 2.41 2.47 just so you could have that easily easier startability so those are some just things to think about uh, get on there and google road speed calculator and then kind of fine-tune your truck for your specific need because of like the other things I said, tire size, speed, startability, um, all those different things are going to make basically the, the best truck you can get with what they have available. All right, well, I think that's going to do it for this one. Uh, appreciate everybody watching, and we will see you on the next video.